cheer on our Olympic athletes, we start to sort of feel like we know them. One Birmingham family really does know one track and field star quite well. Focus in Force, Candace Quick joins me right now. Candace, Angelo Taylor has very close family right here. He does, Pam. You know, as he competed in the 400 meter hurdles over in London, some of his biggest fans were actually watching from their couch right here in That's Birmingham. So. And they sat down and talked to me about what it's like to be a part of a young athlete's life as they watch him grow into an Olympian. Barry and Cynthia Glenn have been glued to the television during the Olympic track and field events. They're rooting for Team USA, particularly for Angelo Taylor. Glenn is Angelo Taylor's uncle. Well, it just makes the uh, Olympics much more exciting to know that someone uh, that's competing is related to you. Glenn says Taylor is a normal person who just happens to have extraordinary talent. He's been in the sport for 20 years, and I've always been there to support him. In fact, the two are so close that Taylor makes frequent phone calls from London to check in with his uncle before and after his races. Taylor won gold medals in 2000 and 2008 in the 400 meter hurdles. At age 33, his goal was to become the only person to obtain three gold medals in that race. This year, he took fifth. Glenn says they're still proud of him, and they always have been. Uh, it was when he went to the, it was 1996 when he went to the Junior Olympics. That's when we knew we had a special talent. But it wasn't smooth sailing from there. Glenn has been a shoulder to lean on during Taylor's difficult times. He almost had a, a career and an injury. His, both of his shins uh, shattered after he hit the last hurdle. And uh, it took him a long time to come back from that. As millions of children crowd around the television and dream of following in Angela Taylor's footsteps, Barry and Cynthia Glenn have a message to their families. Mm. Always be there. And even if you have a child that you see blossoming town in, you still have to guide them. But, and still be their parent. But don't, don't try to live the sport through them. Sounds like good advice. advice. Yeah. Now, Angela Taylor is going to be in Birmingham before the end of summer. Yeah, but that's what's going to be. He's going to be here. What's so. he going to be doing? Yeah, you know, well, he's going to be spending time with his family, of course. But mm -hmm. also, uh, he and his uncle and a couple of other athletes in his family are talking about starting a Birmingham track club um, for next summer. So, oh, parents, be looking out for that. Those muscles. <laughs> I know. He came in fifth uh, this afternoon in the 400, um, but he does have another chance to bring home a medal in the 4x4. Four four. So if you're out there, Team USA, Angelo Taylor, 4x400. Four okay, so now we're rooting for Angelo Taylor. Yes. Who else are folks saying that they're really oh, rooting for? Oh, goodness. There are so many athletes out there that our Facebook friends look up to. We wanted to know if anybody could meet one of these athletes. Who would it be? We have a lot of people saying Gabby, of course, um, Lori Jones, known as Lolo. Um, let's see, all of the gymnastics team, especially Gabby. We have Gabby, Todd Rogers. Um, one person says Bruce Jenner. Uh, Here you take it back. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Um, Michael Phelps, of course, is an obvious uh, choice. Sure. He's some people are calling him the greatest Olympian of all time. He so. has the medals. Yes. yes. <laughs> and you know, so we also want to congratulate Janie Cherubin Bacom. I hope I said that correctly. She competed for the United States in track and field. And you can see her there in the front to the right in this photo. She is a nursing student at Jacksonville State University. She finished 12th on Friday in the 10,000 meters. She finished in 31 minutes. 12.68 seconds, and that improves her personal best time by more than 20 seconds. Our congratulations to her. Well, all of us can expect some lesson changes when children return to school this year. We have details of new initiatives as Focus at Four continues.